What is happening, everybody? You know what it is. It is the WrestleMania 39 prediction show. I cannot wait for this show. There are a lot, a lot of intriguing matches, but I'm not going to lie. The triple threat for the Intercontinental title is the hands down the number one match I'm looking forward to the most. But second, and it's close, is Roman Reigns, Cody Rhodes. We'll get to that in a minute. I'm going to work my way from the bottom to the top, most least interesting to the most interesting. Some matches have been confirmed for night one. Some matches have been confirmed for night two. Night two currently stands with the undisputed Universal Championship match. Cody Rhodes, Roman Reigns, headliner, most likely Charlotte Flair, Maria Ripley for the SmackDown Women's title will headline WrestleMania uh, night one. Although a lot of people could make the case that the three-way for the IC title could headline the... Uh, Undisputed tag team title bout between the Usos and Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn could headline. There's a lot, a lot of good matches. Let's get into it. The women's showcase match. You have Raquel Rodriguez and Liv Morgan teaming up against Natalya and Shotzi versus Ronda Rousey, who is injured, and Shayna Baszler. And what is it? Sonya Deville and Chelsea Green. So, that makes up that. Look, I understand a lot of people are going to pick Shayna and, and Rousey here. Um, but Rousey's injured. I, I think they're going to go in a different direction. And at that point, it's a pick them. Rousey, Baszler, they were supposed to win the women's tag team titles and have a run there. But plans were changed. And Rousey will likely need time off after WrestleMania to heal up. So, her winning wouldn't make, wouldn't make much sense. I'll side with Rodriguez and Morgan here. The men's WrestleMania showcase match, the Street Profits taking on Alpha Academy, Viking Raiders, Braun Strowman, and Ricochet. I'm going to go with Strowman and Ricochet here just because, look, they've been a tag team that has constantly been pushed by WWE. Even though their dynamic is very, very odd, in my opinion, the big guy, small guy, you know, baby face, uh, used to be heel, now you're uh, a face kind of thing. And really, it's a meaningless match that so you could have Alpha Academy or Viking Raiders take the fall, but I'll go with Strowman and Ricochet. Match of the night for night one, I think that's when this match will take place. Drew McIntyre and Sheamus and that Intercontinental Champion Gunther in a triple threat match. Woo Gunther, look, he's had an incredible reign up to this point, and I think it will continue. I'm going to go against the grain, okay? Everyone thinks there's going to be a title change here. I think it's going to be a little bit different. Look, it's a triple threat match. WB could do a spot where Sheamus is about to pin uh, McIntyre. McIntyre is about to pin Sheamus. Either or, it does not matter who takes the fall. Gunther comes in there, tosses the guy through the middle of the rope, pins him. Okay? We've seen this in countless triple threat matches. It's almost like WB's uh, template finish for triple threat, fatal four way, multi person matches. Okay, it just, it is. Look, I don't see a reason why Gunther should drop the Intercontinental title. And I think WWE will have the same belief. I understand that he needs to make till August, I believe, to break the Honky Tonk Man's Intercontinental title reign. But at the end of the day, I just don't see a reason why you got to get the title off of him. I just don't. Becky Lynch, leave it. Trish Stratus, team up against Damage, damage Control. I will take the baby faces going over in this match as they'll just get the, the feel-good win. And the heels, they just don't need to win this match as they're going to get the majority of the match, okay? They're going to be on offense the majority of the time. Baby faces make a comeback, but boom bada bing you get out of there. You can make them look protected, keep them strong, keep them strong, and the baby faces go over. It, it's really that simple. Brock Lesnar, almost. Lesnar is almost a guaranteed winner at this point, and I think it really just comes down to, look, WB has built up almost to be the better of the guy in this feud. Uh, he's he's taken all of the strong points in said feud. Lesnar has really never been able to get an upper hand on him. And with this being a WrestleMania match with one of WB's biggest stars, it's going to give almost enough to shine off of, okay? And I understand there's a lot of speculation about Lesnar taking time off after WrestleMania. His contract's up, etc., etc. His status is being, you know, kept uh, top secret. I get that. I get that. But I think Lesnar's had an easy schedule. Okay, uh, he makes a, a ton of money for a limited amount of dates. 
why would you pass that up? Lesnar goes over, he signs a new deal. Asuka challenges Bianca Belair for the Raw Women's title. Look, Asuka looks to be the one to beat Belair for this championship, and I think she should. At the end of the day, Belair has had an incredible run and really beaten everyone there is to beat. So it's time for some new fresh blood in this title picture. And I think Asuka, with her newish slash older gimmick that she's brought to WWE, it fits that mold. Put the title on Asuka. Let's go on. John Cena, Austin Theory, United States Championship is on the line. This match is guaranteed to kick off night one of WrestleMania. And I think it's going to be a really, really fun match. Austin Theory, look, he has to win. From a storyline standpoint, it's a must win for him. You had John Cena return in Boston and talk Theory down. He took a shovel. He smacked Theory over the freaking face with it and legitimately put dirt on him, okay? In wrestling, the word buried gets way overblown and way overused. But in this promo, the kid got buried. Therefore... You got to come up. You got to get your, uh, your your little payback going on here. So that that's why I think Theory is going to win it. And plus, with the title being on the line, it does eliminate some uh, uh, doubt as to Cena actually winning the title and Theory losing it. And I understand you can do a rematch tonight, next night on Raw, but I just don't see that happening. I think Theory goes over. Seth Rollins, Logan Paul could be a really, really fun match. I hope this is, well, it's on night one because of Logan Paul's birthday, whatever. I will side with Rollins here considering that he needs a big win. And this this really started when Logan Paul eliminated Rollins from the Royal Rumble match in January. But he's also been getting the better of Rollins in the lead up to this. Booking 101 gives Seth Rollins a win there. Edge versus Finn Balor inside Hell in a Cell. Balor will be Pachor portraying his demon gimmick. It looks like Edge is going to be bringing back the brood entrance slash gimmick. Gangrel could be there. We don't know. It's not confirmed. But Edge will win here. And we can finally end this never-ending feud once and for all. As someone who has been critical of this feud because it has dragged on since last June, the last few weeks has actually been really, really good with their back and forths. And it's really been focused on Edge and Balor, and that's been a game changer in my eyes. Edge goes over. Uh, Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens, challenge the Usos, and will defeat the Usos for the Undisputed Tag Team titles. One of the easiest picks on the entire card with Owens and Zayn winning the titles here. It's a clear booking decision and quite predictable. But as Triple H has proven in the past, that you can make predictable uh, finishes work in pro wrestling. Therefore, the fans, Owen, Zayn, they need this win. Make the title change. Rey Mysterio, dominant Mysterio. One of the best built-up matches on this entire card will finally happen. They have dragged it out for months. And here we are. WB did a great job in the lead-up with this, where he refused to fight his son. It was a classic Brett and Owens thing. Uh, father or uh, Brother versus brother and, and Taker and Undertaker or Taker and Kane with the brother versus brother thing. Great story. Look, in my opinion, and I understand that everybody's going to go with Dom here, but like this kid has done so much to Ray. You got to have Ray go over here uh, as Dom will be able to get his heat really right back on Ray in the end. He'll win the feud, but like, you could, you could have Dom attack him after the match. You could have Dom attack him on SmackDown. You could do whatever you want to, but he can get his, his heat back. Rhea Ripley, Charlotte Flair, SmackDown Women's title, likely main event of night one, in my opinion. Rhea Ripley has to win this match. But I can also see it going either way because I think that it, there is no slam dunk scenario when it comes to Charlotte Flair and WB's booking of her. It's just not. And WWE's history has shown that they like to protect Charlotte Flair. However, give Ripley her long and well-deserved to become the SmackDown Women's title. Let her, uh, you know, avenge her loss to Charlotte Flair at WrestleMania 36 in 2020 when she lost the NXT title to Charlotte. Give Ripley the, give her the title, man. And finally, main event, night two. The, the match we've been waiting for since January. 
Cody Rhodes steps foot inside the square circle, and he takes on Roman Reigns for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. Look, although I can see WWE keeping the titles on Reigns here as a swerve, Triple H has a track record of really staying on course of his plans, no matter how predictable they can be, and I don't think he's going to go away from that in here. Rhodes is the last guy who can rightfully beat Roman Reigns for the titles after such a historic reign as champion. It also completes a heartfelt story with his father and completing the legacy of the Rhodes family. Therefore, on April 2nd, 2023, as the night hits midnight, Cody Rhodes will be that undisputed WWE Universal Champion and dethrone our tribal chief of one of the greatest runs as a champion in not only WWE history, but in all of pro wrestling. Cody Rhodes, what's out? Let me know what y'all think down in the description area below. Let me know what you guys think. And I'll see y'all in the next video.